Uh, what's wonderful about prints, and, and prints of this size as well, is that there are ways that you can um, have a, an original work by an artist that you like, and it's affordable. It's, it's the same as having a painting, only it's just a different medium. Painting and etching are for me the two, two um, things that I can express everything that I want to, you know. I'm happy doing those two things. I loved doing my first etching. That was 40, 40 odd years ago. I'm onto a very interesting subject at the moment. My uncle, Morris O'Shea, uh, Mount Pleasant Wines. These paintings are about his, the dream he had of making great wine. I love the story and it's very Australian it's, and it's kind of, for me, I, I just want to explore it. I'm discovering all these things about my uncle which resonate actually with my life. Um, so it's quite interesting. Um, when I first did some paintings of him years and years ago, the only connection with him was we both had thick glasses. But now I'm seeing how his life went and, and that's, that's the intriguing thing for me and making, and that's why I can, I get um, excited about doing these, these images. Berkeley editions have over the years proven that they have been able to put together a quality artists with quality printmakers and I think the results are quite obvious when you have a look at the products that they're marketing. I do a little meditation before I start an artwork. That allows the inspiration to come out. And she, Di gave me these brushes that looked like Salvador Dali's moustache. She said, just draw what you want on this, you know, plate. So I got very adventurous and, and just started drawing. It's got to be fairly clear in your head before you get, can you know, put it onto a plate. The process will be refining this. This is keeping some of the kind of madness of it, but distilling it. Yeah. And it's coming off now. It's good. You really pour yourself into it, and it's quite intense because. With a painting, you're in a studio. Here, you're with the, with the printer. Uh, well, this is just like painting now, if it, if it works, yeah. She made me feel so free doing it. I just, I just did it. And I was quite happy with, you know, the result. But I didn't realise how far I'd have to go to make it a print. I thought this was going to be much easier than this. It's a slow process. I thought I was halfway through this morning. Now, somehow I'm only a quarter of the way through. Because I think fundamentally, the amount of time that an artist puts into uh, a print is in mo on most occasions greater than the effort that goes into an actual painting. They're much more free. I I've never been able to use the brush like that. That's really the, the most um, me one I've ever done, I think. After you've got the, the initial drawing, and you're thinking of colour as well. Elspeth um, traces the shapes, and then they can put the colours that I want onto those areas. Finally, the process has made this look more like a painting than any other. Um, printing I've done. So um, that's, that's the thing about it. It's quite subtle. You can get much more subtle effects. It's a, it's a unique work of art, each one, um, because they have their own uh, qualities. They're so different from earlier stuff that I printed. 
When you've got a colourful Gary Shedd or a Margaret Ollie, uh, it does add a certain uh, dynamic to the space that you're sitting in, and I think it does have a, uh, you know, a tremendous impact on you. And that's what I've always loved about printmaking, that um, you can make these either small ones or any kind of print, and that anybody can own. Like I've got, I've got a Goya, I bought a Goya print, it was very expensive, but just to have a Goya makes you feel so, wow, just in touch with one of the great artists.